Darcy, what is it? Mm. Where are we going today? Well, we are going to garage sales. Do you want some money for garage sales? What are you gonna buy with your money? Okay. Good morning, guys. Saturday morning, which means we're going to garage sales. Kids are coming along. Unfortunately, we can't get our foster daughter to wake up this early, but the other kids are awake, so we're all going to hit some sales. Dad's here, hanging out with Sawyer. Morning, buddy. You ready to go to some garage sales? You go to some garage sales? I said, yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Morning. Morning. How are you guys today? Good. How are you? Doing well. I'm gonna get that for a dollar. Oh my gosh, yes. You have any other video games besides these? That's the only ones we That's got. It? Right okay. Now. Here, I'm gonna get your movie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Jamie. Hey, how are you doing? Good, what's up, buddy? Some shoes. Yeah. <laughs> the dollhouse, the van, the ten dollars. Ten dollars. That's a rock. <laughs> I don't think they accept rocks for payment. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Come here. Oh yeah. Your doll. Oh, is that an RV? Because we can have it when we wait for our when we wait. Really? I don't think you have enough suit. I, I think you should wait until you get your actual doll. No, Mommy, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know. That makes for me. I know, I know. It's up to you. Though. Count, count. How many you have? We can find something smaller. You have one. Okay, thank you. Two. I really feel like you should just wait. No, I don't. You don't even have your doll yet. Of course. No. You need four of these to make a dollar. Keep going. We're trying to teach her how I'm with you. How things, how things work. You wanna you wanna see if if they'll make a deal and Papa will spot you some money? Okay. Yeah, I told her I'd give her something. See, Okay, let me see. See if they'll see if they'll take eight. Say, will you take eight? For you, yes. <laughs> You're so welcome. Good job, baby girl. What do you say, Darcy? She said thank you. Oh, okay. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you tell Did you tell Papa? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Did, did Papa lend you some money? Yeah. What do you say? You're welcome. <laughs> I gave you some money. I didn't loan it to you. Loan it to oh, you. Have to pay it back. Yeah. <laughs> when you get a job, you owe Papa five dollars. Good morning. Morning. Are your crates for sale? Yeah. What are you asking for them? Three bucks a piece. I'll buy them. I hope she comes back. She forgot her trees. Oh no. Thank, Thank you. you. Look at that logo. That's cool. That's neat. The key? Are you want it for you? Um, I like it. If you have a few more, I don't. How much is your key? Oh, Mom, we want on your key. 
dollar. Dollar, okay. She parked the car. I thought she drove a black car. I'm gonna buy this can too. I'll get four dollars. Here you go. I got this can for three and he got the key for a dollar. Thank you. Have a good day. Maybe all of them. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. You got seven of them. Ten dollars for seven of them. Hi, you're so yeah, cute. I'll do that. <laughs> you are so cute. There you, <laughs> there you go. Thank you. How much is your truck? I'll do that. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thanks. How are you today? Hi. Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. Nice. Would you take eight if I bought both of those? Hey Liz, would you take eight for those? If I bought both of them? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sure. Thank you. Sure. All right, we got a special package. Think we should open this up? I want to open it. I want to open it. All right, you can open it. All right, open it up. There you go. All right. All right, there's a letter. Let's read it. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six-digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, and or entertained. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with this Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for rewards, you do it because you have a drive to create and share, and because you found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think, and we're rooting for you. Congratulations, Susan Wojcicki. I'm probably mispronouncing her name. CEO of YouTube. Darcy, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> what does it say? Well, that's don't no, don't play with that. What do you mean? Are you that's poison. Put that. <laughs> it's not band aids. Darcy, what does the plaque say? Presented the Cincinnati Picker for passing 100,000 subscribers. Guys, this is amazing. This is all because of you guys. You have shown me so much support. You guys have shared my videos. A lot of you guys that have YouTube channels have talked about my channel and just, I don't even know what to say. Look at that. Guys, seriously, thank you so much for everything. I love making videos for you guys. I've been doing it for over three years and never in my wildest dreams would I have expected to get this. So thank you so much. Hey guys, it's Monday morning and I did not have time Saturday after we did all the garage sales to show you guys everything. I just kind of dumped it in the warehouse and left it for the weekend. So I've got it all spread out now. I'm gonna show you guys what I found. So I actually got quite a bit of stuff. I'm pretty happy with the turnout. It seems like Friday I didn't get nearly as much, but Saturday was good. I got three vinyl records. As you guys know, I've been trying to buy up vinyl like crazy because it's selling really well in my antique booth. I got KG Elephant and two Arctic Monkeys. I paid 15 for those three. I got the Hunger Games uh, Trilogy book set for $2. I normally wouldn't have bothered picking this up, but 
uh, Suzanne Collins, the author, she just released um, a fourth book. So I think the value on these is going to start to go up a little bit. I got this uh, hunting ozone generator scent elimination. I don't, I don't really know totally how this works or what it does, uh, but it was five bucks and it's new in the plastic. So I went ahead and got that. Got this old honey can, Tropic Queen honey. Couldn't find any comps on it. It was three bucks. I just thought the graphics were pretty neat. So I went ahead and got that. This was a dollar. This is some kind of old metal clip that a fraternity made. It's supposed to look like Sunoco, but it's definitely a fraternity. I'm not sure what the purpose is, but anytime I find vintage fraternity stuff, I usually pick it up. Seems like there's a good collector's market for it. This is a straight razor. I paid $2 for this. Didn't look at the brand, but these seem to sell pretty well. So I just went ahead and picked it up for two bucks. I uh, got this board game for three, The Secret of Nim. Seems like that's going for about 20 or 30. I got two old wood crates for $3 a piece. They're kind of rickety, but they'll go on the antique booth and they should bring, I think, you know, close to 15 a piece probably. I almost looked past this. Uh, my wife saw this and pointed it out because we uh, actually saw one in Universal Studios when we uh, took our daughter there. Um, they wanted $3 for it, and the box is banged up, and now that I'm looking at it, I think the machine itself is banged up, which is pretty unfortunate. I thought that was just part of it, but I, now I don't think that's part of it. I think it just got damaged, which kind of stinks. If this was in really good condition, it'd be like 40 bucks, but as it is, I might not even be able to sell it, unfortunately, because of that damage. Got this baseball pivot pro for a dollar. It's kind of like a hitting tool. Not sure what that's worth, but it should bring some money. Got a uh, Playmobil City Life food truck for five bucks. Seems like that's selling for about 30. Picked up these women's golf shoes, uh, Adidas. They're like really clean. I, I mean, they might've been worn once. Those were $2. Might sell for about 25 or 30. Got another sewing machine and this is almost identical to the one I just picked up. Uh, this is also a Project Runway Edition. I paid $40 for this and it should sell for around 200. Got a big stack of adjustable hurdles. Once again, could not find any comps on these at all, but I think they'll do well. I got seven of them. They're all new in the plastic. I paid 10 bucks. I got some floor mats. Um, these are OEM, that is Original Equipment Manufacturer. I'm pretty sure that's what that stands for. They're for Lexus and I don't know what year it is. Let's see here. Might say what year it fits. Um, Lexus RX 330, light gray four piece. So genuine parts, there's a part number, so I can probably figure out what years of the Lexus that this actually fits. But anytime I see uh, genuine floor mats, uh, you know, whether it's Toyota, Lexus, whatever, I pick them up because uh, people like to have the original stuff for their car and they tend to do well. I paid $10 for these. I expect to get 50 or 60. A couple more things I picked up for the antique booth. I got these vintage windows in really good condition. I paid $8 for the pair. And then lastly, I got this Kentucky Wildcats blanket. It's pretty neat. It's got like all the championships and everything on there. Not like a San Marcos brand or anything, but I know there's a lot of UK fans out there. So I think somebody will like that. I paid $3 for that. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.